Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video. Even though we're going to talk about Neptune grass here, we're not going into space, folks. But we are going into the Greek god's world of Poseidon to talk about Poseidonia Oceanica, a Mediterranean sea grass that has the power to absorb carbon dioxide and transform it into oxygen. Occupying thousands of square kilometers on the seafloor, these green carpets of half a meter high and from 1 to 40 meters deep are photosynthetic plants, meaning that thanks to the sunlight, they take in CO2, about 83 gram per square meter a year, and use it to create and release O2, up to 20 liters per square meter a day. And since we know that half the air we breathe in is coming from the oceans, we can understand how important Posidonia is. We could think that they are algae, because we find them underwater, while it is a plant. They differ from algae because they grow flowers, which then produce fruits. As you can see on the map, they are mostly located near the shores. This plant grows on sand and rocks on the seafloor. Posidonia oceanica can spread in both types of seafloor thanks to its rhizomes. The roots help the plant to conquer the underground and above ground domains. But the respiration capacity of Neptune grass is not its only asset. As you can see on this amazing footage, Neptune grass is more than alive with all these species living on and inside it. Both Posidonia and these species here help each other. Either our little plant is protecting fish or also microorganisms that are fixed on the leaves allow an optimum intake of carbon dioxide by Neptune. They are all living together in perfect harmony. The long leaves can also slow down the swell coming on the shore because they absorb it thanks to a motion that follows the current. This is also why there is no surf in the Mediterranean Sea, by the way. Posidonia oceanica can reproduce thanks to the seed located in its fruit. They only grow in clear and clean water, so they are great bioindicator. At some point during their life cycle, just as the leaves of a tree would fall off in autumn, Posidonia detaches from the floor and either produces organic matter or goes on the shore and beaches where they would protect it from the erosion's phenomenon. However perfect this equilibrium is, it gets destroyed by human activity, which is intense during the summer in the Mediterranean Sea. The more the water gets turbid, and the more Posidonia disappears, and the more it disappears, the less carbon dioxide is captured. Fish and other living organisms might as well have to find another place to live in the amazing underwater kingdom that is the Mediterranean Sea. We must protect Poseidon's children. Mm -hmm.